Hi everybody, welcome to Feducation. I'm Kelly Churchill and I want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing today. So Feducation is fed at IBM's worldwide continuing education program. Fed at IBM is a program and community of practice which is centered around front end development best practices. We are broadcasting Feducation through the Carbon YouTube channel for this developer essentials series. Chat is enabled in YouTube Live for questions. You'll see it on the right. But you can also ask any questions that might be IBM specific if you are an IBMer in our shared Slack channel, hashtag carbon tutorial. So carbon is built in the open and that's why we're gonna use YouTube and learn to use carbon together in the open. In case you're wondering, all of these sessions are recorded and will be available afterwards on carbondesignsystem.com. IBM developers, you can work through these lab activities on your own, or you can actually join a local Fed at IBM local branch. If you visit w3.ibm.com slash design slash essentials, you'll see a list of local sessions where you can meet up with other developers and work through the lab activities together. Upon completion of this learning series, you're going to have the opportunity to apply for a digital credential. We'll ask you to provide evidence of completion of each step, which includes a submission of a pull request, and the Carbon team is going to tell you more about that process in a little bit. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Matt. Matt Rosno is, the, is a Carbon Dev Developer Advocate, and he will uh, take it away. Awesome. Thank you, Kelly. So. Hello again, my name is Matt Rosno, and uh, I am with the Carbon Design System. So Carbon um, is an open source design system. It's built by IBM and the broader community, and it consists of design and developer guidance, tooling, then we also have many different implementations of components. And so we have vanilla JavaScript, we have React, Angular, Vue, and for this Dev Essentials series, we're going to be focusing on the React components. So to give you an overview of what we are going to be up to here, switching over to, OK, so if you go to carbondesignsystem.com, we have a new tutorial. Um, you can really do this tutorial with any level of experience with React. Um, if you're an expert, you can fly through this. Uh, maybe learn some new things about our carbon components. Or if you're more of a beginner with React, um, you can start at the beginning and learn that as well. So over the next five weeks, we are going to be releasing one tutorial step per week. And here's a preview of what we're going to build together. So it is an app about carbon. Um, and uh, the first week, we're going to be putting together the UI shell this is the Chrome, the, the global header, and navigating among different pages. Week two, we're going to build out some of these pages. So this is more of a static marketing type page with various different components like breadcrumbs and tab containers, um, and also using this data table and just focusing on getting static uh, components there on the page. Once we get to week three, we're going to jump into GraphQL not really teaching everything about GraphQL, but consuming the GitHub API through GraphQL to populate our data table component, focusing on pagination and expanding collapsing rows um, and getting just more realistic data in there. Once we get to week four, we're going to be creating some own custom components because Carbon can only get you so far um, with your product or your website that you're building. Um, so we're going to show you how to author your own components and use our styling and our mix-ins and, and everything accessibility that you should consider when creating your own components. And then lastly, once we get to week five, we're going to be deploying this on IBM Cloud, just looking at different uh, performance build type optimizations or considerations to go through um, once you're using all of the carbon assets and using those in a very performant way. So this week, week number one, here is Josefina to give you a uh, deep dive of what we're building with tutorial step one. Cool. 
Um, so I'm Josefina, as Matt said. Um, I'm a developer on Carbon as well. And uh, basically what we'll be doing in step one is um, building kind of like the structure of our app. We already have all of our starting files because we did create um, this application with Create React App. If you're not familiar with it, it basically allows you to just kind of like set up all your um, necessary files for a React app pretty quickly. Um, and you can find more like information on it um, in like the overview if you need like additional links for that. But we'll be using that. Um, and then we have a Carbon Tutorial repo set up that you'll fork and clone. Um, and this will allow you to work um, off of your own branch. Um, we walk you through doing all of that if it's something you've never done before. If it is something that you've done, you should be pretty familiar with these steps. Um, you'll just be, like I said, forking, cloning, and then creating a branch for that. Um, because we started with Create React App, uh, we haven't like added any of our Carbon packages for that, so we walk you through adding the necessary Carbon packages that you'll be using. Um, stuff like Carbon Icons, Carbon Components, Carbon Components React, and whatnot. And then we also walk you through uh, building SAS um, because we do use SAS for Carbon um, and building this application. If it's not something you're very familiar with, no problem. Like It, it goes really in detail for you. Um, and then we'll teach you how to actually import all of our styles so that you can actually see styled components on the page. Um, and then we walk you through actually importing the components. And then we'll finish off with, actually we won't finish off, but we'll add our UI shell. Um, and the reason we wanted to start off step one with adding our UI shell was pretty much so that you could see kind of like building from the outside in so adding all the structure that you need before going into details of the pages that we'll be creating. Um, and so we start off with adding the UI shell and then um, once we do that, we'll walk you through actually adding routing with our UI shell. And we're going to be using um, React Router DOM for that. It's not the only way to, if you're like used to doing it a different way um, in like your applications, that's totally fine. But for this tutorial, that's what we'll be doing. And that's what we're going to walk you through. And so we'll also walk you through creating the pages, um, the landing page and the repo page components. And that's what we'll be using for the routing, which will be our very last step. After we do our routing, the only thing left to do in step one is to submit a pull request. Um, and so because we created our own branch at the start of the tutorial, um, the pull request just needs to pretty much like any normal pull request, but um, rather than um, basing off of master, we'll base off uh, React step one. Um, and then we also, again, we walk you through that um, in detail if you've never created a pull request before. Um, so it'll be pretty straightforward. And um, by the end of the tutorial, your app should look something like this. So um, you'll have your UI shell with routing and two pages. Um, they're going to be blank because we haven't added any components yet but it should look like this. So when you start off, it's just gonna be um, a blank application um, with some, you know, hello world text, um, hello carbon, but uh, this will be the end of step one. Awesome, that sounds great. So a couple of reminders for everybody. Um, internally at IBM, we have the carbon dash tutorial organization uh, channel if you have questions. Um, if you have feedback or suggestions or just questions, just ways that we can improve this tutorial. Um, if you have better teachable moments that the world needs to see, uh, we just encourage that you go to the Carbon Tutorial repo 
um, let me just open that right here um, so that then you can create an issue um, as you would for any other repo if you have suggestions we would appreciate that as well we will be back live 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time next Tuesday and then the following three weeks after that we look forward to talking with you then thanks bye bye